Coming to you today from the Tampa RV Show, where we are going to be reviewing this little guy right here, the Micro Mini FLX, or Flex is how you usually hear it said. Yeah, we learned about this one from my son, Tyler, and his wife, Anna, because they are actually shopping right now for a travel trailer, and they love the bunkhouse floor plan, and if you know travel trailers, you know the bunkhouse floor plan yeah. is a common one. Yeah, pretty much everybody makes a bunkhouse floor plan. Yeah. You can find that anywhere, but what you won't find anywhere is all the tech that they've got yeah. packed into this little guy. Yeah, they've got battery, they've got ups, upgraded appliances, yeah. a lot of the same stuff we have in our own rig. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. But Tyler and Anna have not seen this one in person yet, and nope. it's on their short list. So we wanted to make this video for you, but also for them. All right, so <laughs> Tyler, this one's for you. We're going to get to it. All right. Starting here on the outside of the Micro Mini, kind of looks like a normal travel trailer, but this one's different. It's got a lot of tech. And that's it. why Tyler and Anna are looking at it. The tech is very interesting here, like this. Yeah, it's a MPPT solar charge controller. Nice. Which is a, a higher end solar charge controller. You get more more at uh, lower sun angles, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. A tire link system mount there. And this really large compartment. That goes all the way through. Yeah, you know, did you know when you dared me that I would? <laughs> <laughs> I so knew you were going all the way. Uh, I'm, I'm that predictable, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, you could hide lots of bodies <laughs> in that compartment. Now, uh, back out Side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, looking next at the uh, the jacks, the stabilizer jacks. These are powered jacks. Oh, good. Yeah, good. so it's, everything on here is an upgrade. There's the tire link si system from Lippert. That's a tire pressure and uh, temperature monitor. Okay. Single pane glass windows there, um, right. but that one does open. That's over the, uh, the main bed up in the front. Nice big awning, and that's a powered awning. It's a powered awning, that's correct, and there are lights on the awning, but the lights are on the inboard yeah, side. Yeah, and I like that because, you know, in, in the evening, you're going to have light under your awning. Right, and that's kind of where you want it, mm -hmm. I guess. Speakers, outdoor speakers, okay. we'll see the entertainment system inside. Yeah. And now here we go. Here we start with the uh, upgrades. A Truma Aquago water heater. That is like ours on our Echo. Yeah, yeah. it's a tankless water heater. It's got a little mixing tank in there Sweet. so you don't get the hot and cold pulses when you uh, turn it on and off. Man, unlimited hot water. It's great. Yep. Uh, there's a gravity fill for the freshwater tank. Okay. And this is an exterior... I'd call it a shower, but it's really only one. Ah, it's going to be wash cold. off the dog's paws before you go in. Or Something like that, okay. yeah. Now, the tires. These are not lowest bidder exploding trailer tires oh. here. <laughs> good. <laughs> These are Goodyear good. Wrangler tires. Is that an upgrade? That Well, it's an upgrade from what you see on most travel trailers. Nice. What's that green cap? That means they are filled with nitrogen. Ah, okay. And it's that... a, it's supposed to, They're supposed to lose pressure slower because they're okay. filled with nitrogen. All right, cool. Um, here we have, uh, what was that? There was a cable port. There's... Okay. Provision to, to mount an exterior entertainment center. Got it. So there's some power. There's a cable port. Okay. And then just up here, you'll see, there we go. There's a backer location. So you could mount something to that, and it wouldn't pull out of the wall. There's, there's something to okay. mount to there. Hmm. That's a black tank flush right there because it is black. Got there's a white it. one on the other side. That's how you don't get them confused. And uh, moving a little further back, this is the exhaust for the Truma Vario heat. Another upgrade. Uh, that's nice. It's a wonderful heater. We have that as well. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is, there's no appliance envy if Tyler gets this. So here's another backer location. This is where you would mount something like a rail for a grill or something like that. Okay, cool. And then uh, those are more power jacks in the back. Now, this is the propane connection. So if you were going to mount a grill back in that location, you'd need a kind of longish hose okay. to get back there. But there is an exterior propane connection there. Nice. Yep. And I think that's it on the side. Moving now around to the back, we have a uh, square bumper that you could store a sewer hose in there. Spare tire. Full size Ooh, spare tire. Sweet. And I think what I'm doing there, yeah, that's an ex that's a proper exterior shower, right. but it was locked up, so we couldn't get into that. And you're going up. What's that? That is someplace to mount a Voyager uh, rear view camera. Oh, so okay. It, yeah, another right. another upgrade, right? It's kind of pre-wired for that sort of thing. All right. Now, up top, we have two 100-watt solar panels that are wired into that. More of that tech. Oh, theme. no, that's the tech. Ooh. That's the Truma Aventa air conditioner. New air conditioner, super quiet from Germany. Awesome. Um, two vents. There's one in the bathroom and one just ahead of the bathroom. Okay. And there's an antenna there. And, yeah, mm -hmm. mostly it's the solar up top is what I was kind of jazzed about. Now. Yeah. Kind of tight on this side, but we wanted to show you anyway. That's another window. I didn't think it opened. Steph thought it did. Yep, that's in the front of the trailer. It's over the bed area. And Steph was right. I, I <laughs> thought it didn't open, but it does. Now, here's the other side of that same compartment. But look, magnets. I don't know if that's an upgrade. That's 
it just great. holds it holds yeah. them open. Good to know. Now, in here we have what they call the ion gen system. It'll be a 320 amp hour lithionics battery. That's a high end battery, the same one we do. It's UL listed. Nice. There is a 250 amp circuit breaker right there, a remote switch. I know what's back there because we have the same stuff when I rebuilt mm-hmm. our electrical system. I use the exact same stuff. So great stuff on the electrical side back in there, lots of capacity. Like three times, more than three times as much as a typical little travel trailer. That's awesome. Yep. Now, this is a slide. There is a, it's a smaller slide, so the, the Schwintech slide mechanism is appropriate. It all automatically uh, adjusts itself. And that's for another solar panel? That port, yeah. It's wired into the solar charge control, so you can add another panel. Okay. Now, this is the difficult-to-show-you kind of bit. <laughs> but uh, we got back there. So now here on the back, this is a common bunkhouse floor plan. So that door opens, it was locked. But when you do, you would latch it there so it doesn't okay. smack into the side of the trailer. So the bunkhouse can become like a gear garage if you wanted. Exactly. And when we get inside, I think we show we show that. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's the shore power connection right there. And then we have uh, cable and satellite hookups and a power fill for the fresh water. That one's white right down below that. Mm-hmm. Now these are the sewer connections. There's for the gray and the black. Okay. There are the valves. Pretty typical there. Yeah. yeah. N- nothing nothing unusual there. Uh-huh. The other thing we have to show back here are the jacks. So this is the first time we've gone close up on the stabilizer jacks. Decent. Now, they're not levelers, but they are a good quality stabilizer jack, and they are powered. Yeah. And then finally that, I froze frame there. Those are the low point drains for the hot and cold water lines. Okay. All right. Up in the front, we have a powered tongue jack, so you won't be crank, crank, cranking to level front to back. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's really it on the front except for the propane. Right. There was two tanks in there, right, I believe? Yeah, there are 20-pound yeah, there tanks, but there's clearly room in there for larger 30-pound oh. tanks if you want to extend your time off-grid or, you know, you're, it's really cold and you're going to burn through the propane or something, you can bring a lot more. All right, so let's go take a look inside. But we got to start with this door right here, especially that window <laughs> in the door. Yeah, this is the, our current motorhome. We do not have a window in the door, and it's something we really feel like we're, we're lacking. Yeah, so. so definitely a thumbs up for having a window in the door. Yeah. So now, overall, uh, this is a standard bunkhouse floor plan. You won't be blown away by the floor plan because it's pretty common. Yeah, this is a, there's a reason this is such a common floor plan with travel trailers. It's great for families, you know, the wonderful separation of space with the bunk beds back there, and it just works. Yeah, and overall, on the inside, I thought it was a pretty bright, airy, open feeling. Yeah, check out those seafoam green cabinets. I like that nice accent touch. Yeah, and now here back in the bunk area, I mean, nothing yeah. special, but it's going to work for, for two children, I yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely. Now, into the bathroom. Um, the one thing about this bathroom is there is no sink in the bathroom. Nope, and it's it's pretty basic here. You get your toilet, you get your shower, but I kind of like that because you can modify it, make it your own, add your own storage here. Let's yep, there's see. a fan in the bathroom, as, mm-hmm. as one would expect. And then the shower, it's a decent-sized shower, no tub, but a decent-sized shower. Some of them you'll see that have like a tiny tub, which mm-hmm. is like for really small kids, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, um, there is an upgrade in the shower that we'll uh, talk about in a minute when we get into a little more detail with it, but there's the shower. Yeah, and in such a small RV, it's a really nice size shower. Yeah, now I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, so you have some sort of idea on the space in the shower. Mm-hmm. The door is one of those film. is that mylar? I'm not sure, but it's, it's lightweight. It keeps the weight down. Yeah. Now, you would think that's a skylight that goes all the way up, but there was actually a clear plastic kind of window on it. Mm, makes it nice and bright. And There's the upgrade in the shower. That is a, a shower miser, shower, water saver device. Basically, to keep you from having to run a bunch of water out waiting for it to get hot, that little blue thing kind of turns clear, like gray, white, when the water is hot, and then you flip the switch, and then you're not wasting all your water. Yeah, that's a nice feature. Yeah. Now, no ladder on the bunks, but they didn't seem that hard to get up into. Yeah, I don't think there's any surprises here. There's two bunks. I don't know which one Amelia and Eli would take. I'm sure there'll be fights or who gets yeah. which bunk. But it's going to be good until they're at least 5'2", like you are. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, no, but it's wonderful that the, the kids can make this area their own. I can see lots of storage pockets being added to the walls Oh, the here. net pockets kind yeah. of thing, yeah. yeah. Now, only the top one has a window. The bottom one doesn't have a window. Mm-hmm. The bottom one has that door that we saw from the outside. Yeah. Um, what are you pointing at there? Oh, the light, push button light, and a USB outlet. Now, where you see the USB outlets in, in this travel trailer, they are USB and USB-C. 
So nice. that's even sort of an upgrade for the USB outlets or their future. It just proofing. goes with, with this theme of higher tech yeah. in this RV. Yeah, everything things are moving to USB C and so your outlets yeah. are already there. So both bunks obviously are the same size, they're nice and long, and again there's light, there's the USB. Yeah, and there's the door, and I think we're gonna we're about to go into a bit with the door. Yeah. There we yeah. go. So that's the door open. Um I yeah. don't know if you'd want the kids escaping. Would you lock that? <laughs> would they? Would they escape? I have a feeling Anna will put <laughs> will put Eli upstairs yeah. so he can't escape. So now here underneath, there's more storage, and this kind of gets to that that gear garage thing we sort of alluded to earlier. Yeah. This flips up, and we're going to show you how this this would yep. convert. And this is what we would do absolutely if we right, had this travel. Right, right. So you could flip up that bottom bunk, and you can store stuff in there, like your bikes, for example. And if you only have one kid, you could just leave it like that. You know, have the kids sleep in the upper bunk use the whole bottom area for storage yeah true so i love this option here this is great and here it is from the outside so obviously if we, i'd leave if if we had this i'd leave that top bunk we could use it for storage and then yeah down here is where we could put bikes so much stuff I and mean, look at all the gear you could get in there grills griddles yada 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 right. lots and lots of storage it's kind of a toy hauler in a way you know <laughs> if you think of it that way well you know smaller toys you wouldn't <laughs> put an atv sure, in there but sure. maybe a mini bike so moving to the dinette area, this table is spacious enough for a family of four easily. Yeah, and that's kind of what this whole floor plan is designed around, is, you know, mom, dad, and two kids, right? Right. So in the dinette, there's, you know, the light up above in the slide there. Uh, the window opens. Nice spacious window. This is in the slide. And we did notice that when the slide is brought in, you can still walk around with no problem, even with the slide. And you can use the table to yeah. slide in as well. Now, underneath both of these benches, there's quite a bit of storage. And you can access that storage either from the end here, or if you remove the cushion, you can, like, lift the seat out of the benches and get to both of them if you need to put in something taller or something. Bigger. And that's one of the great things about this floor plan is it is not lacking for storage at no, all. There's a lot of storage. Now, this does make into a bed, and I had not done it before. <clears throat> <laughs> I am learning this is my first time with it here. The table just pushes straight down. Yep. Once you figure that out, the rest is pretty easy. <laughs> and I love that. There's there's not even a table base under it. You know, it's attached to the wall. So yeah, it's kind of, there's an angled support, so it's cantilevered out. So there's right. no pedestal, but there's just like a little diagonal bracket under there that, so you could put something under there, I guess. If someone was sleeping, you could still have some storage under there. And I'm again, 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Maybe yeah. I'm 5'9". I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think 5'9". I think You're shrinking. I've got shoes on though, so we'll call it 5'10". We'll yeah, but another, bring bring the mother-in-law if you'd like. No, that. don't bring the mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> what? I want to go with them. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my bed. Oh, well, now you know how to make it then. Now, it just lifts back up, so it's pretty. And there was a little locking thing, I think, in there to actually lock it in place if you were worried. Oh, 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 look up, everyone. Check that this out. That is the Truma Aventa, the air conditioner. It's super quiet. It kind of tries to maintain the ideal temperature and humidity, and it, it automatically adjusts its fan speed to keep it there. Yeah, I'm excited to see this in this tra travel tra trail. I'm, this I'm excited for the fridge. So <laughs> Tyler might be jealous of our battery capacity if he were to get this, but I would be jealous of his fridge. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than ours. It's a compressor-driven fridge, which we prefer. Yeah, it's 12 volt only, so there's no propane required for Good. this refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Way Look lots of ice cream space. In, oh. that, in that freezer. And yeah. it does lock for travel. Nice. But lots and lots of space in the freezer. Uh, the mm -hmm. cooktop is a propane cooktop, so this is going to be a standard kind of three-burner. Right. burner. three-burner, though, that's pretty nice. Yeah, now there's no propane oven below mm -hmm. this, right? In fact, below this, I think we just have a rather large drawer. Yeah, it pulls all the way out. Look at that. You can get some nice Major sized pots and pans pots in there. in there, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, that that's is. great. And then below that is the electrical load center. This is the same load center we have in our RV that I put in. So oh, there it is. Yeah, that looks familiar. Yeah, circuit breakers across the top, fuses down the right. Yep. That's where they all are when if the power goes out. You, you know, I really them. do like that seafoam green color. Oh, here we go. This is the convection we microwave. We do not even have a convection microwave. Yeah, this is fantastic. So you can make bread or you can microwave with that. Cookies, cookies. Oh, cookies. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we we have a uh, we have kind of a foam marble backsplash. Yeah, it, it uh, gives a little more character. I, I like that touch. And the sink is like twice the size of our sink. I, it's. I it's, like the faucet too. 
Yeah, another, I would call that an upgraded. It's not like a typical Definitely. plastic RV sink. Here's your TV. It's a smaller TV. Yeah, and that's hooked into the entertainment options up above. So you can see there's like HDMI, there's right. cable, satellite, yada, yada, yada. It's pre-wired for one of the king Wi-Fi solutions, okay. like a Wi-Fi booster or something. All right, another nice detail. There's yep. a lot of detail like that in here. Yep, and then another USB slash wow. USB-C Those charging port. Over. Uh, there's some lights there. Okay. Uh, there, most of the lights are like those touch lights, mm -hmm. but there are a couple in the ceiling. I like touches like this too, where you saw that little plastic bit. You could hold, put your sponges there, more drawer space, more drawer space, more drawer space, nice tight drawers too. They're not going to come flying open. At that you. one is not a drawer. Ooh, That is access to the water pump. Okay. So if you need to like clean the strainer or access it for winterizing or something or change the fuse, there, there it is. Now, large cabinet here, um, what's underneath the bottom half of it is the Truma AquaGo. All right, so, that's the water heater. Yeah, so that's kind of why that's kind of blocked off. Got it. No real need to mess with that. Fantastic. Now, up above, to me, this cabinet is crying out for a shelf. Yep, yep, definitely. That'll uh, help organize your plates, bowls, all that. Yeah, that'd be the first thing I would do if I had this. Yep. Yeah. Pull-up counter extension. Yeah, we're ah. on the fence about this. I mean, you've got that huge table already. I understand what Winnebago's doing here. They're trying to give more cooking surface, right? Yeah, but, but it's kind of, it's not, maybe not in the way, but it's it's. It's near... a nice, I guess it's a nice ooh, touch. Ooh, ooh. Wireless cell phone charging. Check it out. Mm, Boom. Again, going with that whole tech theme. Yeah. This... Speaking of tech, here's, this is kind of my department. <laughs> so that is the JBL uh, stereo system there. Um, there are up above that is uh, the Truma control panel. Now, climate controls on that control both the air conditioner and the heater from the same uh, panel, and that also controls the Truma AquaGo, the water heater. That's the same panel we have in our current. Yeah, we're very familiar with that. We really love the Truma appliances. Yep. Now, in the ceiling, we have besides the two outside, there are two more speakers inside for okay. the uh, the JBL. Great. That is your inverter control panel. And up above that is the control panel for the GoSun solar charge controller. You really shouldn't have to do much with that. Yeah, that's just information only, right? Yeah, and down below, you have uh, basically a standard kind of RV control panel. But don't use, don't rely on this to show you the state of charge for the batteries because they're lithium batteries. The voltages are different. Yeah, you'll use your Lithionics app for that information. Yep. So switches on here for the water pump, the tank heaters. Tank heaters, yes, bonus. Yes, yes, tank heaters. And then cool. the slide and the awning controls there there and a couple the couple over headlights here we have 120 volt gfci outlet and down below is the propane detector all right and now we're finally to the parents bed up front the and mom and dad just bed. showing the space here yeah, i'm we, about five five we five, always six. argue about this i don't think she's that tall but <laughs> anyway you have some sort of idea uh net pocket there and there's usb and USB C chargers and 120 volts so yep. if you had some longish cords you could get them into that net pocket while you were in that bed. Right. Now, oh, that's our stuff. You don't get the camera equipment with, <laughs> um, but plenty of stuff or yeah, plenty of storage of, up lots above. lots of room up there. You could put long things since it goes through. Skis? Could I put sure, skis? Sure, sure, why not? I mean, you have the whole gear garage, but sure, if you want to put skis up there, you do that, honey. Okay, okay. So plenty of storage up above, another little touch light there, yeah. so you don't have to get out of bed to turn the lights off. And then this is the third time we've shown <laughs> this compartment. This is that same underbed storage compartment, and this is the third access point. Right, but it. having access to the inside is really convenient, so you don't have to go outside. You can yeah. Grab things at night, whatever. Yep. And now this, Steph wanted to do this. I don't think this is going to make Tyler more likely to buy this motor. I just home. wanted to show how well two people fit in this bed. It's very spacious here. See, two people fit nicely. It's going to creep Tyler out. He's yeah. not going to want this. Tyler's probably got his ears covered. La, la, la. I'm not watching this part. But you've got this privacy shade. Look at that. You have your own space now. All it's private. Not, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and there's a good, decent, thick mattress in that bed. So plenty of comfort up top. So that's our tour. Tyler and Anna and grandkids, what do you guys think? So Tyler, I'll just tell you, I think you should get this because if you don't, we're going to go our being together sometime and you're going to be all jealous that we've got like lithium batteries and a cool furnace and that sort of thing. And you're just going to be sad if you don't get it. So that's why you should get it. So if you want to see if Tyler and Anna end up buying this one, <laughs> click to subscribe to our channel. That's right. And if you want to leave comments, ask questions, there'll be a link in the YouTube description right down below to our website website where you can ask questions and we will try our best to get them answered for you. Sounds good. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye everyone.